bit about etiquette. I've seen back and forth with, you know, costumers and cosplayers uh, complaining about photographers getting into their, you know, personal space or, you know, taking pictures when they're not ready. Mm -hmm. And I've heard photographers be like, well, if you don't want your picture taken, you shouldn't wear the costume. And I hate that. <laughs> I hate that so much. Yeah. And, and it's like, well, you know, I, I think that everybody needs to understand the point of view of the other person. Because, mm -hmm. like, when I do costuming, yeah, I want, pe I want people to take my picture. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I don't want people to take my picture when I've sat down to eat. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I can't tell you how many times I've gone into the hotel restaurant, I'm starving to death, and it's frustrating when somebody comes up to me when I'm sitting down and I've, or my, and my food has just arrived. Right. You know, they hand me my food and somebody comes up, oh, can I get your picture? Right. You know, at which point you're like, I just got my food, I really want to kill you. Right. And you know, and so you, you want to be nice, so you get up and you pose and your food's cold and then you're really cranky about it. Right, right, right. <laughs> you know? There's a, there's a group of people that go to the conventions, uh, photographers, um, that, if not professional photographers, are kind of like me, serious amateurs. Uh, they want to build a, a, a positive um, rapport. rapport, have a positive experience. Um, and so you kind of know, you don't just walk up and shove, you're not paparazzi, you don't just shove the camera in their face and take their picture, and you don't disturb them when they're, when they're eating. Now, I have come across people in fantastic costumes, like maybe I've seen them, because by the time people are eating, it's like the middle of the day, so you've seen them walking around, mm -hmm. and just maybe things just didn't work out where you can actually approach them out there. So here they are sitting down to eat, and I'll hand them a card, and I'll say, you know, sorry to bother you, but... If you're interested, I would really love to get some pictures of you. Here's my card, you know, my number's on there, that type of thing. So really kind of quick in and out. Um, if I get the vibe that that's an acceptable thing to do. Mm -hmm. Like, if you walk up there and they don't pay any attention to you at all, right. they're not, they know you. They know you're there. They've got peripheral vision. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. They can see a guy with a camera. And they don't want to talk to and you. And they don't want to talk to you. It's like, okay. <laughs> then it's just, wow, I really love your costume. That looks really great. You walk away. Right. You know? And then maybe later on in the day, you come across them again, then you can try it. Or not. You know, right. You're not going to get every picture of every person. Right. And it's so. so and it's okay. And it's okay for for people in costume to get tired. Oh yeah. yeah. And it's okay for photographers to to come up and say, "Hey, can I take your picture?" Right. There's the etiquette of the photographer with their their subject, their model. Oh yes. Then there's also the etiquette of the photographer with other photographers. I cannot oh. tell you how many times this happened where I'm actively working with the model with mm -hmm. the, and, the cosplayer and 20 other people come up and all these you. other people will come up and take pictures now it doesn't necessarily bother me that they're there but the problem is you're not going to get a, a good shot that you like if you don't get the the, the face if you don't get right. the eyes you have to, to your get their lens attention. right so these are the distractions that are coming because the the costume player the cosplayer the model uh not wanting to seem rude and not fully it's gonna look around it. She's going to look around. It's like all the sure. celebrities going across the red carpet, and they're, I'm looking at you, looking at you, looking at you, and you've got that instant to get that shot. Well, in this scenario, that's just, that's rude, you know? Mm -hmm. Or if you're walking from one place to another, and they continually stop you, can I get a picture? Can I get a picture? That's very, yeah, It's and it's hard to be a, a costumer, you know, somebody who's in costume, and you just, you have... You have 15 seconds to get to that panel that you really want to get to, right. or, or worse, you're on a panel, mm. you know, and if you are a costumer, you should have a, a handler. If you, especially if you are in a very elaborate costume, you should have yes. someone with you who, A, maybe carries your bag, but and also... And your business cards. And your business cards, and also has has acts as your manager and it's like no she's really busy so that mm -hmm. the co the person in costume isn't the one that seems rude right your your manager's the rude one that can be very helpful another way another thing that can be helpful for a cosplayer uh in those scenarios would be and this is kind of tough to plan ahead for it depends on the costume but if you had the type of costume that 
is clearly not complete if you're not wearing such and such right. stuff, you can take that stuff off. That can help to kind of set a, a, a not a perimeter, but uh, a limit or something to, uh, there's another word. A it. buffer. A buffer. Maybe. Yeah, for the cosplayer to say, you know, no, currently I'm not available uh, for photos, right? Right. Um, some some downtime. It's like turning the, the light off of your of your cab. <laughs> you know, right. You're not, you're not available. Well, and I think, and you came up with a great idea. When you're walking through like the food court mm -hmm. and you overhear the conversations the cosplayers are having, uh, especially if they're a very popular uh, cosplayer in, in a great right. costume, they're constantly stopped. And I thought if there was a way that you could like hide, make it permanent. obvious yeah. that you are not actually available for pictures. And I thought, take a cloak, cover up your costume. You know, and just because I am who I am is a cloak of invisibility. So it's like you're not in costume. You're not there. People won't approach you. Right. You know, so that, and I, I asked a couple of uh, cosplayers that I know if that would be something that they would, and they're like, oh, yes, I want one. I want one. Like, right. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, and that would be something that their handler could, could carry. We'd want to make it small and lightweight, like mm -hmm. just this really small, thin thing. You know, it looks a lot like Harry Potter's cape. And pull it, which you don't know about, because you haven't seen the movie. Thanks, thanks for outing me to the world. Somebody needed to. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, something that they can pull out and and put on that you know yeah. weighs almost nothing. And yeah, I think and that's a great idea. And I think we'll we'll start something very those. subdued colors, because the last thing you want is, is like attention. a bright attention color. Right. Right. But. But also maybe some some versatility to it because if they are going to be wearing it um, as they're traveling around the convention, uh, you know, like maybe a little pocket or some place to keep your cards or something. 